Hey everyone, this is Fred Ranger. Hope you're doing good. Vlog number 33 today. Very quick one because I got another little box here. Fuji Goody. Fuji Goody time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Welcome to vlog number 33. Um, as you guys know, I'm a proud owner of the Fuji X Pro 2. Got a couple lens for it. I did a couple videos, so if you guys want to click here or here, I don't know, I never know where it is, um, and uh, see the reviews of both the body and some of the lenses, you just have to go in the older vlogs and you'll be able to see that. But today, today is all about reducing even further the size of my camera bag. And as much as I, you know, Thank God that these little things exist now because I don't have to carry my big Nikon gear anymore and the big lenses. I wanted to bring uh, my street photography game to another level. I wanted it to be really, really, really subtle in the streets of Montreal and everywhere in the world where I go. So I've done a bit of searching and uh, of course the X100 was definitely an option. I've owned uh, an X100, I actually sold it to buy this. Anyways, all that to say that I wanted to go even smaller than that and I ended up considering and buying the X70 from Fujifilm. So today will be my unboxing, uh, but planning on bringing this camera literally everywhere I go. And when I say everywhere, I mean like everywhere. People are gonna be sick of me holding the camera in one hand and my phone in the other hand. Um, anyways, I think I'm going crazy here. But, so, X70, let's see what's in that little box. Always good to see a Fuji box arrive in the mail. So if we go right in there and we, if I can open it, there you go. We go right in there to that box and we look at what Fuji gives you with the X70. Let's go right into it here. So, all the manuals here that I will download on my iPad and my iPhone digital format. I mean, it's nice to have the print version, but uh, I really encourage you to always download the digital versions. You never know when you're gonna need it. Uh, when you're on the field and you don't you know, want to carry this around. Actually, I think this is actually bigger than the camera I just bought, but uh, we'll see. So, what do we have here? So we have the accessories. I've heard that this camera actually doesn't have a charger and I kind of like the idea of not having a charger. This is your standard strap that comes with kind of every Fuji camera. Uh, it seems a, bit, a little bit more uh, cheap than the ones that are uh, coming with the X Pro 2, but again, this is the flagship model and this is kind of an entry level model. So uh, I, I can see that there's literally no charger and I like that because what you'll be able to do with the X70 is being able to charge it with the USB uh, uh, cable here and plug it right to your computer or the wall uh, and be able to charge it directly in the camera. So really like the idea of, of you know traveling lighter and lighter and lighter and this is definitely a move towards that. So, oh, what is that? Oh, this is the, the actual wall charger. So you can actually plug it into the wall and then plug your USB cable right into the camera. So no more charger like that. And this is the little thingy that goes on to plug it into the wall. And then this is the Fujifilm X70. And I chose the silver color because again, I was a proud owner of the Fujifilm X100 and it had that silver look on it and I really dig that look. I like my, my pro body to be black like that, but I kind of like the retro look that we have here on the X70 that actually reminds me of the X100 that I own. Um, so this is the camera right here. What a beauty. It's actually fairly small when you look at it here. And this is what I was going for. I was going for a camera that I could actually literally bring with me everywhere I would go. And so a couple things about this, this camera. I mean, this is a 16.3 megapixel camera. So it's really capable. It shoots raw, obviously. Um, this is an X-Trans CMOS 2 sensor. So it's not the same sensor that you have in the uh, Fujifilm X-Pro 2, but you have the same sensors you have in uh, the X100, and I think it's the same uh, as in the X-T1 and the X-T10. Um, you also have a single lens. I mean, this is not an interchangeable lens uh, camera. You actually are stuck with a 18.5 uh, millimeter 
uh, which is the equivalent of a 23 millimeters or 28. I, I'll have to check, I'll, I'll put it down below. Uh, but I like the idea of going wider than the 35 mil equivalent that you get with a, with an X100. And here on my X Pro 2, uh, I you know have the 50 mil equivalent, so it's the 35 F2. And I really like that focal lens, but I, I wanted to go wider. And I'm, again, I like the idea of uh, having a, a wide lens for street photography. So there it is guys, really happy to have that. It has the flippy screen here, so it actually goes all the way up, a bit like the Canon G7X that I have right here. Uh, but this is good for selfie mode, obviously, but look at that, it also goes the other way around, so you can shoot like that and uh, do some weird angle photography. And when you're doing street photography, one thing you might want to do is you know shoot from the hip so you don't get noticed, uh, or you know, get on the floor, on, on the ground, and, and get your, your screen like that to actually you know shoot some very cool low angle shots. It also has all the you know, dials that you would expect from Fuji, which is your compensation, uh, exposure compensation dial that goes from a minus three to plus three. You have your drive button where you can go to the menu and change uh, things up. You also have your shutter speed button here, and no ISO button, but I'm pretty sure you can assign a button here to act as your ISO button. Uh, a really nice aperture ring here. It's a bit small from what I've heard and putting my hands on it. I agree that it's uh, it's kind of small, but hey, this is what uh, comes with a smaller body camera. And that's why we're buying this camera. It's because it's small and it's pocketable. And you can literally have it in your pocket or, or, or uh, in your bag everywhere you go. I might actually get a protective screen uh, our film, little film here to protect the screen because if I'm going to be throwing it into my bag a lot, if I get scratched, I don't like scratches. Who, who would like scratches? Uh, there's also a little joystick here. It's not the joystick you get on the X Pro 2 here, but I think it's going to come handy when it comes to um, you know flipping through the menu stuff. It also is the first Fujifilm camera uh, that is touch sensitive. So the screen here is touch sensitive. So you can basically go through uh, uh, the photos and pinch and zoom and see if your photos are sharp. Uh, but again, I think this is just a great and a perfect, once you're in the Fuji uh, ecosystem and you wanna go you know, street photography, very, very, very light and, and kind of your travel cam, well, this is one of the options you might want to consider. I think it competes directly with the Ricoh GR, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm well invested in the Fuji ecosystem. I like the film simulations. Uh, it even, you know, enticed me to shoot raw more, and I, I do shoot shoot raw and uh, JPEG. But uh, I end up using the JPEG files uh, may way more often than I would than, than I would imagine. Uh, it takes the NP95 uh, battery, so the same batteries as the actual uh, X100 that I used to own. And the cool part is that I still kept these. Two things. So the first one is an extra battery that might come handy because we know that these mirrorless cameras are sucking up a lot of battery power and quickly. So having another battery is a good good thing. And I kept this lens hood that you used to work with the uh, actually made for the X100. So let's see. Let's do a little. Let's put a card in the camera here. I don't, I don't even know if there's power in the battery, so we'll see. But let's try to see if it has the same. Oh, I think it has the same thread size as the Fuji X100. So you can actually unscrew this little thing here that's, that's on it. Let's try not to break it on day one. And then you can actually screw this here and then put your X100 lens hood. And look at that. This is an X70 with the X100 lens hood on it. I think it looks killer. Um, wow. That's cool, I didn't know that. Pretty cool, so I might uh, leave it on uh, and versus you know having a, a lens cap on all the time. Um, I don't know, I'll see, but this is, uh, I guess this is a really nice way of uh, making the lens hood fit on another system. So there you have it, let's open the camera actually, let's do that, I never do that in my reviews because uh, I'm not the type of guy who goes throughout the menus and stuff in this video, this is just to give you a quick look, but I think it might work. Yeah, it does work. And is the touch touchscreen working? See, that's the thing. Fujifilm, why are you making a touchscreen camera when the menus are not touch sensitive? Um, I don't know, I guess uh, I'll leave that to the engineers. Um, anyways, I won't go through the menu. This is the camera. If you have any questions about the camera, I'll start posting lots of photos on my social platform. So please, please 
follow the platforms. You can follow me on Instagram right here. This is where I post most of my photos. You can follow me on the 500 pixels right here. And you can also follow me on Facebook and you can definitely follow me on Snapchat. Uh, and I do a lot of uh, stories on both Snapchat and um, Instagram now that Instagram stories is out. Uh, and you can definitely uh, plan on seeing a lot of this camera moving forward because it's going to be always with me. That's the cool part about this little tiny camera. And it's Fuji, so I'm pretty sure, and I saw some photos obviously online, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna serve me well in terms of quality. So again, I've been Fred Ranger. You can follow me on all these platforms. Can send me a tweet ask a question down below and let's go out and shoot because actually all you have to do is be happy enjoy life and enjoy your gear cheers <laughs>